We'll take a look at a visible satellite picture, seeing a little bit of hole in that cloud cover across the area. That's allowed us to jump those temperatures into the 60s here for us this afternoon, but we do have a lot of moisture headed towards us here. We've seen those winds switch around from that southwesterly direction yesterday, now more east northeasterly, and they have been rather gusty, especially along the coastal areas here. We've been looking at those uh, wind gusts in excess of 15 to 25 miles per hour. Not only is it breezy, but it's also transporting that moisture. We've got showers and clouds coming up from South Carolina and Georgia, but notice offshore here. You can kind of see how these clouds are creeping back towards the coast, so we're kind of in a pincer move here, if you will, and everything's converging on us here in eastern North Carolina. So as we go on through the day today, we'll see these clouds thicken up. Showers will be arriving from southwest to northeast as we get towards sunset across the area. Again, a couple spots may be getting into the low 60s, depending on how much sunshine we see. Heaviest rainfall is in here basically after sunset tonight till about sunrise tomorrow morning, and especially east of Highway 17. It could be some ponding of the roadways tomorrow morning. Like I mentioned, there's a lot a lot of moisture coming northbound with this system here, but what we're watching is an area of low pressure starting to develop here right around Jacksonville, Florida. That's going to come northbound and combine with that surge of tropical moisture you see coming up through the central Mississippi Valley. And as a result, there's that low pressure along our coast introducing the heaviest rainfall for us overnight tonight. And that exits off the coast by mid morning hours tomorrow. Northwesterly winds kick in on the back side of it. There's some debate in the models exactly how clear we see the skies become. I think we'll at least see partly sunny skies at best for us here in eastern North Carolina for tomorrow afternoon. Weak high pressure slides in from the Ohio Valley, but you'll notice along the tail end of that front, another wave of low pressure starts to develop and that comes northbound and that's going to head towards us potentially on Monday. We'll keep you updated on that. If it's 75 to 100 miles further offshore, we don't really have a chance of some showers along the coast. Otherwise, though, we might have a few showers along the coast on Monday. And like I mentioned, we are going to see those rain totals really pile up, which is good. We need it because we are in drought conditions around for us here. East of 17 could be an inch and a half or maybe some isolated two inch amounts of rainfall, but great weather in store for us on Election Day on Tuesday.